Hey guys, it's me, Stormy, and let's talk about this full moon coming up at nine degrees of Scorpio on April 29th. Now, the full moon as we know it, the full moon says we need to end something, acknowledge something, or adjust something. It brings a culmination to the cycle that we're in, right? But when we're also looking at the full moon, we've got the moon on one side and the sun in an opposition on the other. So what we see here is, is we've got this big, beautiful full moon over here in Scorpio. And so that means we've got the sun in earthy, sensual Taurus energy. So it really stretches out and brings to light the polarities between what these signs represent. Taurus being about safety, security, the, the steady, right? And a very material sign as well. And then we've got Scorpio over here who is depth, things unseen, things that lie beneath the surface. Maybe some of these are not tangible. We're in a tension here a little bit between these two placements. So our needs versus our wants, they will be illuminated, right? Our have tos versus our get tos, these will definitely be illuminated. Now the moon itself governs our emotions, our reactions, um, the intensity of those emotional reactions, as a matter of fact. So the moon is going to be in Scorpio, which is a deep, intense sign, which can bring deep and intense emotional action, reaction, and feelings. This is one of the reasons why we have to also consider the state that the moon is in in this sign. So the moon is actually in fall, what we call fall. If you haven't watched my video on the different states, make sure you check that out. But the moon will be in fall in Scorpio, which means this isn't its strongest placement ever, but it certainly amps up the intensity of emotions here because our emotions get very, very deep and they can often become a little bit unstable as well. So there is a certain intensity that will be milling around down there. Now, one of the things that I think makes this moon a lot more grounded and a lot more helpful to many of us is that it's also sitting in a sextile to Saturn. So this actually can put you in a position with bringing that Saturn grounding energy in to take that intensity and turn it into something useful. Where has that intensity, where have those emotions, where have those talents, where has that, that willingness to handle your money differently, where has that been milling around, digging in you and changing, and now you're ready to do something different with it. So there's actually a lot of successful opportunity, I think, available with this moon to each of us. Not to mention, we have also got now, besides just having that sextile, we have also got the moon in a square to Ceres, which Ceres, if you haven't studied about Ceres, make sure you check out my Ceres series <laughs> so you can learn a little bit more about that asteroid. But Ceres rules over things with the environment, our environment, parenting, working, working systems, all of these kinds of things will come into square as well. So the key word that comes up for me is responsibility. Your responsibilities may be thrust in your face at this moon. And I think it is really, really good because one of the things that will certainly come out of the intensity of this moon is you seeing that you can't carry the load all of yourself. You may need to delegate. You may need to ask for help, but sometimes we got to get under enough pressure before we're willing to say, uncle, ask for help and or move into a different direction. So let's pull it up, look at this chart and talk through a little bit more of what we see breaking it down in the astrology. Okay, so off the bat here, again, we've got the full moon happening April 29th at nine degrees of Scorpio. This is in a really nice beneficial placement with Saturn, which helps to bring that determination, that grounding, um, the sense of achievement, right? Because Saturn wants to achieve. It's just a very steady kind of energy. As well, it is gonna make a square with Ceres. So again, this brings the idea of responsibility, testing, challenging that responsibility, um, sharing responsibilities up to the surface of the table. It's going to like it kind of rises to the surface like cream, okay? So when we look at this in this chart, one of the things we see is that moon in a sextile to Saturn is first of all, this is a very caring 
kind of energy because remember the emotions around this are deep they are intense they are they are running deep there is a depth of emotion here um that seeks that is almost like a fearful protective kind of energy right it's sharing more deeply it's commitment it's loyalty it's um, nourishment of the soul nourishment of your talents your finances things like that right now the other thing i think about with it being in scorpio energy as well is that we do have the energetic involvement of pluto just being a natural ruler of scorpio so there's a fair amount of patience that comes with all of this emotional intensity as well um but having that sextile here is also going to bring a sense of patience and tradition to the table. So could this lead to something where maybe you're taking care of someone in your life? You are having to do for them a little bit more. Um, it could be a time in your life where, like I said, those responsibilities are changing, right? In the relationships that you have, maybe you're finding that you're having to step up to the plate because you have a switch in the responsibilities in some way shape or form you may find yourself in a position where you're wanting to create more stability more um maybe more new partnerships maybe more tradition maybe more improvement around your life and your relationships in general right there's just a very deep rooted steady sturdiness that comes from this energy but if you use it wisely if you use the intensity guys you can do something with it you can create you can manifest something beautiful with it now when we look at this series square that is also in a quincunx to that saturn energy this is where i think we see those responsibilities coming under pressure you will need to figure out at this full moon which is all about balancing priorities balancing your responsibilities balancing full moon responsibilities series right so if you need help especially in terms of taking care of someone or people ask for help i think that is a theme that we are learning consistently around some of the moons that we've got is yes you can get out there and create this big beautiful abundant life but you likely are going to need to ask for help to be able to do that so sometimes we just need a good moon to help remind us right that we're not traveling this road alone but the intensity i feel like of the emotions around this moon will help you see that you just can't be everything to everyone that is actually not the expectation of your life you may be feeling a bigger sense of security around your family or your finances and if you need someone to help you govern and navigate those um I think that there is definitely, definitely help available. So whatever intensities of your responsibility, this switch of position, switch of responsibilities, whatever is rising to the surface for you, just know that the full moon is here supporting that culmination, ending, change, adjustment, or acknowledgement so that you can take the appropriate actions to be in alignment with everything that the universe is going to be asking you to do in terms of responsibilities, creating stability, creating security on the other side of this moon and over the next four weeks. Now, another thing to consider is that any new things, your new beginnings that you set in place, that you manifested, you put out there, maybe they actually even came together. Maybe you had a new partnership or some kind of new alignment that came to be from that new moon that happened April 15th, they have a really nice chance of actually working out at this moon because with the moon in a sextile to Saturn, it is just good juju for something successful, something to achieve, something being grounded, steady, practical, and useful. So I'll be interested to see what were you working on then? What were you trying to go towards at that new moon? And let's see what things are starting to look like at the, by the time you're even coming to the full moon. And then of course, a few weeks after. So really an intense kind of moon, I think, bringing responsibilities into kind of clear view. But ultimately it is definitely a moon that I think is necessary for us to have every year. Cause we've also got to kind of clean out those scorpions from our closets as well. All right, guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I look forward to catching up with you in the next video, okay? Bye, guys.